the home of the common Joe and the common Sally in the know, even more so than all those media talking heads. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Y'all smell that? That <laughs> smells like a grill burning. It smells like those USC Skillshares done got burned again. You know, by that team that you can't recruit to. You can't recruit to Oklahoma. Oh, no, no, no. You can't, according to Linky Boy and Colin Coward and all of those left coasters out there in L.A. Boy, nobody wants to go to Norman. There's nothing to do there, man. Everybody wants to come to L.A. and hang out on the beach, a trashy beach where everybody's shitting in the streets and playing transgender volleyball in Santa Barbara. That's where everybody wants to be. <clears throat> Wrong answer. <laughs> is once again, Taylor Tatum, a skilled position player on the offensive side of the ball, was taken right out from underneath the noses of those USC skill shooters and Lincoln Riley, who's supposed to be an offensive guru. And yet, he was out-recruited once again by a defensive-minded coach and a great recruiting staff at Oklahoma with DeMarco Murray. Let's talk about it. Here they come, once again, right on in. Once again, it's the Outlaw Posse mounted up and saddled up and ready to go for another college football invasion. And today's four horsemen shout-outs go to Chicken 1515, Eric Blomquist, Mike Wilkerson, and the Rhino 26. Get your four horsemen shout-outs of the day. Also, credits for this podcast go to Heath Stokes, Lori Brogdon, and Ryan loads who all give me some good information and give me some links on this good stuff today and if you want to be a part of the four horsemen shout out and you want to be a part of the outlaw posse it only costs $2.99 a month 75 cents a week there's a little join button next subscribe button hit that join button and join the posse and you'll get your badge and you'll get deputized just like they have this is the Outlaw College Football, and I can be found on Twitter at OCF Productions. Now, getting right to it here. <laughs> I've never been more happier to lose a recruit as an Alabama fan than I am today. <laughs> you know, Taylor Tatum had Alabama in his top five. I think they were like third or fourth, actually. But he chose the Oklahoma Sooners today as his final two was Oklahoma and those Skittle shitters out in L.A. And... He chose Oklahoma, and I really liked the way he done it at the end. There was no real dramatic bullshit that some of these athletes like to do that just screams screams drama queen and diva. Didn't flop through about 15 hats or anything like that. He just pulled back the veil, and there it was, a big old Oklahoma football. And man, that's like, wow, that's got to hurt. Because you see... USC was in the lead for this guy. This wasn't like somebody that USC didn't want really bad. They, they, they'll try to play it like that now, but it wasn't. It's like the great Michael Jordan once said. It's easy to talk smack when you're up. And USC thought they was up because he had already made a soft commitment to USC until that champ you barbecue that I talked about a few weeks back. <laughs> And after the Champ View Barbecue and talking to DeMarco Murray and most notably Skip Johnson, the baseball coach at Oklahoma, things started to turn, and they started to turn big time. Now let's give you a little small rundown on Taylor Tatum's stats for all the stat geeks out there because a lot of people love these stats. He's six foot, 205 pounds, rushed for 2,051 yards and 36 touchdowns last year's run back in Longview, Texas. He also said that Skip Johnson, as I said earlier, Skip Johnson had a big, huge part in getting this guy. You think, well, baseball coach, how could that be? Well, it's because Skip Johnson had a well-laid-out plan, and Oklahoma as a whole, as a university, done their homework, which 
Certain other universities did not. <laughs> and he showed him how his process that was put in place was catered to specifically those athletes that love sports so much that they want to compete in two sports. And he showed his well laid out process that was able to make players successful in both baseball and football. It did not affect them negatively as far as their football career, obviously because of Kyler Murray, who ended up winning the Heisman Trophy and played baseball. So I think Skip Johnson and DeMarco Murray both deserve huge raises from the University of Oklahoma. DeMarco Murray, I've had an ad nauseum. You know, I, I'm a big DeMarco Murray fan. This guy, he's a pretty hot recruiter, and this right here is probably his biggest get yet. It's going to put him directly on the map and be in talking circles for a lot of coaching positions out there in the near future. I do believe DeMarco Murray may end up getting hired away from Oklahoma as an offensive coordinator one day at a big-time school. We shall see. I don't know if that's his plan or not, but I'm guaranteeing you that his offensive, or not his offensive, but his recruiting prowess that he has shown, it's catching the attention of a lot of people. And I just find it ironically beautiful that Colin Coward once again opens his mealy little mouth and says the stupid shit that he always says about Oklahoma slipping into irrelevancy and not being able to recruit. And then on the heels of that, Oklahoma comes in and takes the number one running back in the state of Texas right away from those USC Skittle shitters. Because you see, Colin, uh, it ain't all about the glamour and the glitz and all that other perverted shit that's going on out there in Los Angeles that gets recruits anymore. It's about being able to give them a genuine sense of your program actually caring about them outside of just sports. Because, you know, uh, they also have something set up that Brent Venables, I think, may have set this up, where former players are hired to come in and teach life lessons outside of sports and how to cope with certain things once they are no longer in sports. Then you have the champ you barbecue. And then you have uh, coaches from other sports at the university in tow helping as a big conglomerate connection that gives off the vibe of real family atmosphere. And some players actually care about that. Y'all don't realize that. Oh, we got so much stuff to do out here. It's so glamorous. We got beaches, trashy little beaches, and people shitting in the streets, and uh, transgender volleyball tournaments. We're enlightened. Well, some people don't want to be enlightened like that anymore. Nobody. Some people don't want to be around that perversion, man. They don't want to be indoctrinated in your perverted views about what's great in life out there with the L.A. skill shooters. You just had to take another little pardon shot. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just a little lesson for you, Colin Coward and Tebow. <laughs> you can't recruit to Oklahoma is what you said. And what you meant to say was you can't recruit to Oklahoma. And that's all I got to say about that. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Also, there's a little heart down here. A little heart thanks button. It's got a little dollar sign in the middle. Hit that if you want to throw a one-time donation to the program. And as I said before, you can also join the Outlaw Posse. I'm going to have some more perks coming up pretty soon. Get your four horsemen shout out. Get your badge. Get deputized. $2.99 a month. 75 cents a week. And as always, KMCA to all the other teams, especially USC. <laughs> Class is now officially dismissed.